Well, it's Valentine's Day, so I decided to run a different character through uh, Jenny D's uh, POV matchmaker video. Thought it'd be a fun little thing to do for uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, the character I'm actually doing is one that I've named uh, Jet Vulcan. It's a name I like. I mean, I use it for the channel. So, uh... I've had this OC in my head for a long time, and I finally made it into a D&D character and incorporated the background I've written for him. Kind of works. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm leaving a link to Jenny D's original video, so that if you want to do your own, you can always do this. Um, go to her channel, like and subscribe. Uh, don't you dare like or subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the video. Uh, hey, um, you seem a bit distracted with the mirror. Um, I hope it's okay. I took down all the curtains and stuff on my side. I didn't like the way they were hanging. Um, I'm pretty good with my hands, so I'll, I'll put them up when we're done. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, good morning, my dear. May Suni shine the light of her love and beauty upon your days. I am so thrilled to meet you. Now, please tell me the name of the ravishing creature standing before me. Oh, uh, the name's Jet Vulcan. Uh, Artificer Jet Vulcan. Oh, breathtaking. Well... I am Edith Helmina Fairthimble, and I am so happy that you have decided to welcome love into your heart. You know, I work with people all across the world who are just like you. They're all looking for that special someone. Or a few special someones. We don't pass judgments like that here. Today, I am just going to ask you a few questions about yourself, about what you're looking for, about your past... I know that you don't know me, but I'm going to have to ask you to be honest with me. That's the only way this works. But don't worry. It is completely confidential. This stays between you, me, and Suni herself. First things first, we're going to have to get down the basics. So, how old are you? Uh, Not really sure how old I am. I know I'm a year older than I was the year before. Or also, I would be young for an elf, but I would be old for a Kenku. Uh, I'm guessing that's middle age for um, humans. Okay. Do you have a preference with regards to gender? Ooh. Well... I haven't found myself attracted to uh, any men yet, but the uh, absence of proof is not proof of absence. So, so um, women, I guess, but if you found a man that I you think I might be interested in, I'd be willing to try. Okay, noted. Any objection to fangs, horns, wings, or tails? Hmm. Well, let's see. Um, horns or fangs? Um, well, I am human. So, humanoid, definitely. Um, any extra limbs could be interesting. So, uh, don't take them off the list. All right. Have you had a relationship before, and how recent are we talking here? Um, before what? Before I was alone? Well, of course I was in a relationship before I was alone. But the question is, did I know what alone was before I was in a relationship? Hmm, that'll get me thinking. Um, but otherwise for time, uh, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. And do you sleep in pajamas or in the nude? Do I sleep in pajamas or in the nude? Um, I prefer to sleep in a bed. 
Okay, I may be wrong, but I can't help but sense a little bit of a uh, trepidation coming off of you. But some part of you must be looking for love, even if it's not a conscious part. Otherwise, Suni would not have brought you to me. So, do yourself a favor, or at least humor me, and give it a shot, all right? Okay. So, let's talk about what you are looking for in a partner. What would you say is your type? What do you find attractive about a person? And don't say redheads, because I'll think you're flirting with me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You could say redheads. It's true. Well, you can say redheads as well, or, um, well, uh, I guess it's not as red as it used to be, you know, getting older and stuff. But, um, uh, intra uh, someone with a good personality, maybe, um, a strong will, because they need to be able to keep up with me. They need to be able to put up with me. I think that's the biggest issue I have to deal with. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. <laughs> I agree with you completely there. Describe for me your perfect date. What would you want to do? Where would you want to go? I'm uh, not a fan of crowds, so I'd probably like to do something intimate. Um, I might cook them a meal. I'm a very good cook. Um, if they'd be interested in it, doing an experiment with magic or technology, that would be amazing. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Based on where you are in your life right now, are you ready to settle down, raise a family, or are you looking for something a little more casual? I'm, I'm not looking for a family. I've uh, screwed that up in the past and I'm afraid I would screw it up again. So for right now, I'm just looking for something casual. Oh, absolutely, yes, we can work with that. Now, I know you're an adventurer. You probably do a lot of travel. Are you okay with long distance or would you expect your partner to come along with you on the road? Oh, um, I, I, I wouldn't want to do long distance. Um, if you could find someone who could would be willing to travel with me and actually participate in the adventures, that would be amazing. See, but if you found somebody who really matched with me, I think I'd be fine settling down and maybe opening up my own little shop. What about deal breakers? Annoying habits, religious affiliations, pets, anything you absolutely would not stand for? Deal breakers? Um, keeping secrets. I've had some secrets that people have kept from me for years that by the time they got revealed, there was nothing I could do to correct a problem. Okay, got it. You know, let's get a little uncomfortable here. It's time to talk about your dating history. Now, if you have not dated extensively before, just think about relationships in your life in general. So friendships, family. We can learn a lot from how you relate to people, even outside of a romantic context. <sighs> Although, look at you. I would find it hard to believe that nobody's tried to snap that up. So, are you usually the pursuer or the pursued? Are you the one that breaks up or the one that gets broken up with? To be honest, um, I'm not great with people. Um, I don't uh, pursue very well. And I've had to be hit over the head with a hammer to realize that somebody was interested in me. As for ending relationships, uh, I've done both. I've um, had people break my heart, and I have just wandered off on people. It's not something I'm proud of, and it's something I actually really regret. 
that is interesting. Tell me, what went wrong in your last relationship? Do you take any responsibility there? It, it was my fault. I had a desire to gain knowledge. I like to travel, see new things. And that took over the relationship. I don't blame them for leaving. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that, honey. That must have been really rough. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. But you can't spend the rest of your life thinking about it, or you'll end up like me. Always the matchmaker, never the match. Never mind. We're talking about you. Let's stay on task. Do you have a, a one that got away? Somebody you still think about a lot? Got away? Um, this is between uh, you, me, and Suni, right? Okay, then. Um, yeah, there is um, a girl named uh, Honey. She was a uh, tiefling that I grew up with. We were best friends, and that's all I thought it was for a long time. I was getting ready to uh, leave to um, increase my studies, just travel abroad. She came to me, we revealed that we had feelings for each other. One thing led to another, and still the next night, I left. Uh, it's one thing I really regret, because there are things I found out later that I wish I had known then. It may have changed what I had done. Thank you for sharing all this with me. I know it can be hard to open up. We're just going to get a little bit deeper now. Let's talk about you. What kind of baggage are you carrying with you? What do you need to work on? Trust issues? Uh, abandonment issues? Don't be shy. This is a safe space. Um, as I said, like with my last relationship, I get focused on my research. Um, I love building things, but that can sometimes take over my life. I've lost track of that. My um, grooming suffers, and that's something that people, I mean, do you usually encounter people with hair like this? Mm. Oh, I hear you there. You know, people say you don't date the person, you date the family. So in your case, what does that mean? Uh, if someone dates you, what are they also getting in the bargain? Your party? Your patron? Someone else? Uh, if they're dating, they get me. And my obsession with uh, research. You've seen from what I've said before, it's cost me relationships in the past. It's uh, cost me a family. We, what I didn't tell you was, Honey had a child. I have a son who doesn't know I'm his father. She married someone else. He raised the child. He died to protect the child. I'm not going to go and take away a child's father. Let's talk about a different kind of language proficiency. I'm not talking about Dwarvish or Celestial. I'm talking about love languages. You know, your love language. How do you show someone that you love them? And uh, how do you want to be shown that someone loves you? Gifts, uh, physical touch, romantic words? I give gifts. I mean, I'm an artificer and a tinkerer. I can make some very interesting things for people. And not all of them explode, so that can be a plus. Absolutely, I understand that. 
I know this one might sound strange, but uh, you only have to rescue one client from a hostage situation before you start to put this in the paperwork. So, do you have any extremely powerful enemies with a grudge against you who might want to use your partner as a way to get back at you? You can't be an adventurer without pissing off a few people. I don't think I have anyone specifically who would kidnap people, but... You never know. Duly noted. Okay. Last but not least, sexual compatibility. It's important. Would you describe yourself as adventurous? I mean, aside from the literal adventuring. I wouldn't say I'm adventurous. I'd say I'm inventive. Well, I guess that word means different things to different people. Tell me, have your previous partners described you as being good in bed? Uh, good in bed? Um, I've had people say unique. Well, should we believe them? Uh, yes. I, I guess. Okay, okay. Any weird kinks I should know about? Uh, shape-shifting? Necromancy? Don't be shy. Trust me, I've heard it all before. Um, well, kinks, um, I do like to bring devices into the bedroom. You can come up with some pretty interesting stuff. All right, that is all I need for the initial interview. We will go ahead and start looking for compatible matches amongst our other candidates, uh, including other temples as well as here. I already have a few people in mind. Um, actually, I interviewed the sweetest healer yesterday. Anyway, if we find a match for you, we will be in touch. And if you are happy with our services, we do accept contributions to the temple in the form of clothing, cosmetics, scents, jewelry, artwork, furniture, and chocolate. And statuary. Did I say statuary? And remember, true love conquers all. As long as you follow your heart, all will be well. May Suni shine the light of her beauty upon you, sweetheart. Farewell.